farmers welcome back to hinterland september morning has been rather busy taking care of all the animals which i'm still doing <laughs> it's almost noon hour the rain is coming no field work really needs to be done this month but uh, after i get done giving these cows some tmr we're gonna hop into our truck we're gonna bring the milk over to the dairy production i don't want to say it's getting low but it's actually under a hundred thousand liters in there so we're gonna go over and uh we gotta bring the milk somewhere and that's where it's gonna go uh, I also, while we're over there with productions, we got to go ahead and sell some things. I would like to bring in some money, and with that money, we're going to actually pay off some of the loan. I was uh, going to save up for the John Deere tractor, which we're still kind of working our way towards. But that loan interest at night, I, yeah, it's just... Uh, when, when, I, when I slept through last night, it just got to me a little bit. It was like, yeah, we're going to put some money into that. Uh, also, since I'm going right past here, I think we're going to bump up the chickens a little bit since the chickens are not going to the feed that much and we got plenty of feed for them and so far with only like about 40 or 50 chickens the eggs are just not rolling in as well as i was i was, I was like we're, we're gonna buy 20 chickens and adult chickens as well uh so they can start reproducing this a little bit more faster that'd be good uh and it's not gonna cost us that much i mean 20 chickens it's not even gonna be is it gonna be a thousand yeah just barely a thousand so uh do i yeah, yeah we're gonna get 40 Let's go and just, might as well. Why wait? Let's go get 40, and I think that'll be good enough for now. And probably good enough for the rest, because it only holds 350. Now, those 40 chickens in two months, because they're adults, th those 40 chickens are going to turn into another 40 chickens, so that should definitely help us out with the eggs a little bit. We're not in a desperate need of eggs, but at this point, like I said last night, the low, I keep seeing that low interest now, and it's starting to get to me just a little bit. So by producing, you know more eggs we can sell eggs or make cakes or do whatever we need to with it all right so this milk needs to go on over here uh the potato production is going rather well actually it's almost finished but i need to go over there with the wheel loader and put the rest of the potatoes on in so maybe while the milk is unloading uh we gotta sell that straw products today actually everything's going to the same sell point which is kind of weird in a sense so I know what I need to sell. We can just grab it all and bring it to the sell everything sell point. As far as I know, that sell point does not give us a bonus for selling there. All right, we'll leave that running right there because we're going to use that in a second. Let's come over to here in the wheel loader. And I think we can grab the rest of the potatoes. I don't know. I don't think I think I got 40,000 in here. Do I? No, we only got 30,000. So the rest can go on in here and the potato production will be done. Now, I am going to leave myself probably about, uh, I was going to say 50. I, I think maybe we'll just leave ourselves 100,000 in the bank account once we get all the selling done. We're going to lose about 30 some odd thousand overnight. So that'll drop us around 70. And I'm going to need to be able to lease the cotton harvester, which is like 25 grand. So just want to make sure we got enough. Oh, and I did bring some slurry over today as well. So we should make some money on that. I shouldn't say should. We'll make money on that. <laughs> A decent amount, I hope. As for the sheep, because we did feed them in August, we topped them off with, uh, you know, as much as we could. Yeah, with the amount of sheep we got in there, their grass pasture is doesn't keep up with them. So, uh, we're going to be feeding the sheep more often. And when winter comes, yeah, we'll have to go ahead and feed them a whole bunch of good stuff, I'm sure. I'll come back and grab that other little bit of potatoes here in just a second. Right, and it's probably 100 200 liters i still got some potatoes underneath there uh those are gonna have to stay or i'm gonna just have to erase them in the xml file i can't really get a bucket in there to grab them so i just really need to be careful when i load them on in Yeah, 
and I'm not going to turn off the production when it's done because I don't know if that's part of the issue when it says it's out of room, out of space. A uh, wheel loader can sit there. Let me turn around. Let's go grab. I'll leave the milk tanker right here for now. And even though I brought over a full tanker, I got maybe 50,000 liters of milk still at the cow barn. Oh, I probably should get some of this butter and cheese into storage. Actually, a couple uh, pallets of butter should go to the bakery because I'm going to need that to make some cakes. But really, I'm kind of waiting on the chickens, in a sense, to bring me over some eggs. We don't have a lot of eggs to start making some cakes. Uh, let's see. While I'm here, let's go ahead and we'll grab these. So the potato production won't stop. We're going to have any more spawn, or was that it? Or... Oh, no, th there's always more. Uh, potatoes? I, we're not selling the potatoes today. It's going to be all... Sawmill stuff and the straw stuff. Uh, potatoes are January. But we are going to be doing some pig food. So I got pig food on the trailer right now. So what I'm going to have to do is unload it all into our storage shed. And then take it back out. Well, let's start actually making some more cash. Now, once we sell all the potatoes in January, that's what's mostly in there. The original potatoes, those are, those are probably like a thousand liters a piece. Then we can sell that shed and get some money back. Won't be a whole lot, but it's, uh, you know, more than nothing. All right, we come over here and let's see. We got uh, not big bag, not seed potatoes premium potatoes, pig food, yes, spawn all that, um, wood beams, spawn those, all right, let's grab what we can here, clear out the spawning area, Let's spawn some more stuff because I think I got some room to take it. Prefab walls. I'll spawn them, but I don't think I got the room for them. Uh, planks long. Yes, we're taking those. Not planks, but planks long. And I think uh, I'm out of room. Let me just double check on all this, make sure it hasn't changed since I got this morning at 8 o'clock, because it's now past the noon hour. So, uh, planks long, sell everything. Prefab wall goes to sell everything. And wood beams go to sell everything. Pig food up here goes to sell everything. And the straw accessories. Okay, one actually should go to the restaurant, and one should go to sell everything. So that changed. Um... So when it comes to the straw, let me go all the way down here. If it's the price is not that big of a difference, to separate all that stuff will be a pain. Uh, let's see, sell everything, sixteen fifty nine, sixteen sixty three. So it's a couple of dollars. Uh, sell everything, twelve seventy six. So I think I'll just bring everything to sell everything. That's where we're gonna go with it. And of course, the prices that we saw there that does that does not include our wonderful precision uh, farming scoring, which I don't know what it is, but I'm guessing we're like at 13, 14%. I don't think we'll ever get to get up to 15% just because our potato planter is not a direct drill. So we lose some points on that. Let's make sure I don't drive through any other triggers so we don't sell anything accidentally where I don't want it to go. But this is the sell everything trigger, which we pretty much put down just for the methane. But now here we are. Of course, I put it down for methane, and it didn't take methane, so I edited the XML file. And now it does. All right, so yeah, I'm kind of hoping we get up. I would like to get up to three hundred thousand today, so I can pay off two hundred thousand on the loan. Let's see what we get up to. Uh, that's trip number one. 
I do actually have stuff in the sawmill I could take as well. So I'll probably grab that stuff. I mean, might as well. And October should be a busy month. Uh, we're going to have sugar beet to harvest, cotton to harvest. And I think that's all we have to harvest. I'm going to say it's all we have to harvest. It's still a good amount. All right, I think we got a full trailer. Actually, I probably could have taken some long beams there. The wood beams. It is actually nice to be traveling on asphalt going on down through here rather than a dirt road. So thank you for recommending that mod of painting landscaping anywhere. Meaning we don't need to own the land to landscape. And all I'm going to use it for is just to be able to put roads in certain areas. Keep on selling. All right, there's another, well, pretty close to $50,000 worth. Sawmill is paying off nicely. As I mentioned before, it might be almost wise to upgrade the sawmill, but we got so much other things going on here in the farm. And, and in the long run, the sawmill is not going to be as important. But in the beginning stages, it's working out really well for us. Okay, load up everything there. Uh, is the only thing I got over here seed potatoes and premium potatoes? Let's see, big bag premium potatoes, seed potatoes. Yeah, it's the only thing I got over there, so... That'll be going... In a, in a few months time uh, planks long yes we'll spawn those uh, planks no we don't want this regular planks uh, we got butter we got cheese potatoes potatoes all right so that's everything we need out of the shed grab that spin around here And let me go grab the stuff out of the sawmill. I'm guessing that's close enough to grab that, which it is. I should be able to grab these three. Loading area is full. I think they could fit on there. Well, oh, you know, I forgot to do the landscaping around the sawmill where... Yeah, we kind of, or I kind of did some landscaping there and it went below the platform of the sawmill. So I need, need to re-raise the land there so I can drive up on it. Alright, so I think I got everything I need out of the sawmill. There's still a couple more pieces there, but we'll leave it for another day. Let's go grab the straw stuff next. Which we're still making the product. We still got straw in there. Well, we're up to $280,000. And I'm going to guess we got... Well, actually, we're up to $290,000. Um, well, yeah, we should have $10,000 worth of straw material here. Well, look at this mess I created over here. But now it's going to load up so nicely. It's going to look nice and clean on the trailer. I was going to say, can we get it all on there? And it appears that we can. Let me go grab this one piece over here. Loading area is full. Uh, I don't think so. I mean, there's there's room for it right here. As a matter of fact, let me go ahead and just slide it on there like that. Let's strap all that in. Uh, 
All right. So, how much did we make in straw products? 30,000? I really have no idea myself. I didn't really look at the totals when I was on the screen. I was just looking to see where to bring it. Stock crate not accepted here. Uh, I thought it was. All right, that's not a big deal. That's interesting that one product is uh, accepted here, but the other one isn't. Wait. It's, it's taken it. Why did it say straw crate not accepted here? Uh, I wasn't paying attention. Okay, so what we get? Like 41, 47, 50. Let's say we got about uh, 51, 52,000 dollars worth of straw material there. I thought when I pulled in, it says straw, straw crate not accepted there. Unless I drove through the trigger of our cell point, which I haven't used yet. But let's uh, come on into here and... So, yeah, we have a loan of $9,355,000. Let's go ahead and repay off a good... Well, I don't want to say a good chunk of it, but a decent amount. We're going to leave ourselves 100000 100, And I think uh, we can be okay with that. So... Uh, yeah, we're paying, we were paying 31183 in loan interest, so I'm hoping to get it down to, I don't know, is that going to get us down to 30? I have no idea. Alright, so the next thing I need to do is, I need to go over to the dairy, I need to remove the butter and the cheese, uh, and uh, clear that space out so that production keeps on rolling. So, I'm going to take care of that. I think we are done for the month of uh, September. Just trying to think of anything else we need to do, and I can't think of anything currently. I mean, I could go over and put some lime down uh, and finish that job off, but I think we'll hold off onto that. We can we can do a lot of it in October. This is gonna be a lot of butter and cheese, a whole bunch of it. Uh, which one's butter? Which one's cheese? Because honestly, let me go ahead and put a couple of these aside. I need to bring those over to the bakery so that's for future making of some cakes I think I got all the production buildings cleaned up went around gathered everything that has spawned and everything that need to be put away has been put away into our storage shed over there uh, I brought the 2,000 liters of butter over to the bakery so that just needs some milk and some eggs, and we could start making some cakes. I think, if I, if I remember, uh, No Man's Land cakes sell good in November. So, now that we got some extra chickens, maybe we'll get, you know, some eggs that we could possibly bring over. We got some there. Ooh, some more clothes spawned. Got more clothes in that spinnery than I thought we had. Which is great, because clothes sell for a good amount of money. So everything is done over here for today. Yeah, I think we're all set. Uh, I'm going to go back to the cow barn. I'm going to go ahead and empty the milk out that's in there. That way, I don't think they'll fill that up overnight. Um, but we'll make sure there's plenty of room there. I did have a quick look at the cows and just seeing where we're going to get some more. And it might be a couple more months we could get another 40. So that will up the production of slurry and manure. Not milk yet. We got a ways to go before we get more cows producing more milk. But I think we got enough already that our production buildings are, you know, they're, 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 I don't want to say they're, well, okay, yeah, they're, they're struggling. Let's just say it out loud. They're struggling. All right, so that's why that's filling up, let me go ahead and hide inactive. So cakes, yeah, we got we got the butter over there. Um, there's the butter. So we just need some milk and some eggs and that'll be good to go. Clothing is on a hold because we don't have any wool over there. Uh, strawberry milk started back up. So it must be I got some sugar from the sugar factory. Uh, of course, we don't have any slurry or manure over there. Uh, the potatoes are done. I'm leaving this on just in case if by turning it off and turning it back on is causing the issue of out of space. Uh, issue that we've been having. And the greenhouses are fine. The sawmill has got enough wood in it for a while. Straw, well, that, that's fine. Um, yeah, and over here we're doing fine as well. We got chocolate on distribute, which I didn't have it on. I caught that uh, just a second ago. So that should be going over to our flavored 
milk. We should be getting some chocolate over here soon, I would think. And then we can start making some chocolate milk, but we need sugar for that. Sugar, sugar, sugar. Sugar seems to be a thing I didn't think I was going to need a lot of, but now I kind of do. Uh, the animals. Let me just double check on the animals before we call it a day. So yeah, the chickens are not going through that much feed. Uh, the cows, they're good until at least tomorrow, but of course i got to feed them every day. But they got enough to get through the rest of today and then into the morning. And of course the sheep are doing what the sheep do best, uh, which is eat grass and make some wool. Uh, let's go ahead. Oh, do you want, uh, I haven't checked since this morning, but we'll check before we go to bed just in case. Not not that I would really would need to buy anything. Another trailer? No, nah, we don't need another trailer. Yeah, we're, we're all set there. That one trailer we got does rather well. All right, so uh, we'll see what we did, we, how much money we saved on loan in the morning. Let's go ahead and... Yep, we'll sleep. Uh, there's the rain. As long as it's not raining when we get up or rain all day in October. Because we got three fields of harvest cotton and two sugar beet. Which won't take us too long. Alright, so we didn't drop that much of money. But we did probably bring in some money because there was still... Actually, no, there wasn't much left in the uh, BGA. So, oh yeah, we got soybeans as well. Soybeans as well. Uh, money situation, let's scroll on down. So we went from 31,183 to 30,366. So almost a thousand dollars saved, more like eight hundred dollars saved in loan interest per day, per month. So that that's a good start. Um, over here, anything I should be selling today? This is looking for things for methane. Always seems to be in the dark green, like it's always a better price. Uh, let's see, anything else here? Uh, same thing could be said about the sawmill stuff. That price always seemed to be rather good. Uh, we do got some straw that we could sell, bring some cash in, but it's not a whole lot. And what do we got here? Well, nothing that we would be interested in buying. So, wait a minute. The cotton field is ready, correct? Uh, scroll up here. I think all of our fields are ready. So, two sugar beet. I think this is the cotton, and this is the soybean field. So, I think what we're going to do is let's go ahead and get this out of the way. That way we can see our financial situation is a little bit better. So cotton technology, uh, Stevie's high speed cotton module harvester. And just because, um, for all you fans out there, uh, we're going to paint it pink just because it'll bring up the least cost a little bit, but that's fine. Uh, engine, we should be all set and let's go ahead and lease it for, yep. Just under 25,000. All right, let's go jump into this beautiful thing. And let's go harvest some cotton, shall we? So, yeah, Stevie's cotton module harvester that we just leased, it'll harvest the cotton at 12 miles an hour instead of six. So that should save us from going over an hour and having to pay an additional leasing fees. Let's see, we go by the chickens and how we doing on some eggs here. Well, it's it's half of a pallet. So <laughs> once we get a full chicken pen, as we know, that will boost. We don't need that many eggs to make cakes, and any extra eggs that we get, we can go ahead and sell when we need to. I didn't see any warning signs about animals on low health when we woke up this morning, meaning we didn't get we didn't get any new animals overnight. So, a bit of a shame there. Let me go ahead and actually unfold this. And of course, all this cotton will be going directly right to our spinnery. Thought I saw something off in the distance. I couldn't figure out what it was, but now I don't see what it was. There's our sugar beet. And of course, all that we brought to the sugar mill to make sugar. So that can be distributed to, well, the flavored milk bottling company uh, over to the dairy production to make chocolate, over to the bakery to make cakes needs to go in a few areas. Yep, 
And away we go. At a beautiful 12 miles an hour. Don't know how well the yield is off this field. Uh, let's actually have... Wait a minute, if I bring up the... The map, we can kind of see the color of the yield. Well, I, I guess it's, it, it's okay. It doesn't look like it's in the greatest color. Yeah, it must be bad soil here. So crop rotation, we're just even. We're at 100%. So we're not losing any. We're not gaining anything. Uh, nitrogen's good. The pH value is good. And we're just must be in bad soil because yield is down to 80%. Which if it, happen, if it has to happen to any crop right now, I'd rather it be cotton. Because in making clothing, we are... I don't want to, yeah, we are far behind in the in the wool process from the sheep, so uh, getting a lot of cotton is not helpful to us until we start getting a lot of wool. But at some point, you know, the sheep will be making more and more wool. And then maybe we might fall behind on the cotton, who knows? But for now, we'll just stick it all into the spinnery, and when it gets to it, it gets to it. And if it ever gets to the point to where the sheep can't make enough to keep up with cotton, well, I can stop making cotton for a year. Or we can just sell the cotton outright. Maybe make some fabric with it and just sell the fabric. Or just start making some fabric with just pure cotton. But we make so much more fabric if we can combine the cotton and the wool together. It's almost, well, I think it is double the production of fabric. And now we get into the good part of the field over here. Look how green this section is over here. So the other corner we were getting 80% yield. Over here we're getting 112%. Expected yields 112%. Yield potential is 125, so yeah, the crop rotation is what's I don't want to say what's hurting us because we're we made out evenly there, but sometimes with crop rotation you just gotta take what you can get. Probably harvesting cotton first thing in the morning might not be a good idea. I don't know how much moisture would be in the cotton first thing in the morning. Now you can see on the same, we have the same issue on the sugar beet field next to us to where the yield doesn't look that great. So it must be just bad soil over here. Not much we can do about that. I had just noticed that there is rain in the forecast and I quickly look at the forecast for the rest of the month and the rain's going to be here very soon. In other words, any second, uh, <laughs> 9 o'clock is forecasting rain and it's supposed to rain the rest of the morning and a couple hours in the early afternoon so not going to get that much done in the first half of October. So I'm going to try to get done what we can here, but the second starts running, I'm going to go ahead and shut her off. I don't want to lose any yield on the cotton. And I guess I could spend the rest of the morning uh, just go around tending to the cows, first of all. Maybe bring some manure over to the BGA. I guess I could do that. But seeing that we got uh, some money in the bank account, and now we don't have to lease anything else the rest of the year... I believe. And I, I should not go over an hour on this. Uh, I shouldn't. I should get this done in an hour. So I don't expect any additional fees here. And we'll probably pay some more off the loan by the end of the month. And I think it's what we're going to do for the rest of the year until we get the loan down. Uh, like I said, I would like to get it down below 30 because our wind turbine on the hill roughly makes that per month. So. Um, that will equalize our our bank account for an entire month. The wind turbine will will uh, 
be as even as our loan interest. And then anything else we make during the month would be great. But as we know, when the winter comes, we do got some products to sell. We got a lot of potatoes to sell. And uh, we'll have more stuff from the sawmill. And eventually we'll have uh, strawberry milk. I don't know when the best time to sell that is. Uh, November, we got some stuff to sell. And of course, we got a good amount of butter and cheese piling up. It's all going to come in handy. So maybe by the beginning of next year, our loan should be under $9 million. And by then, we probably will have more cows, which means more manure, more slurry, more money from the BGA. I'm, I'm just waiting for the first raindrop right now. It, it, it's going to come at any moment. Well, the rain's not here yet, and I'm stopping just short of 20,000 liters in the cotton module harvester because I don't want to dispense a cotton module and then um, have it soak up all the rain that's going to be coming here very shortly. If you're new to Farming Simulator, don't worry about the leasing fee. Uh, the hour only, you know, the, the runtime is all that matters for leasing. So uh, just by parking here for the rest of the day, well, not the rest of the day, but all morning, it's not the hour that you have. It's an hour of runtime. So I'm not worried about going over the fee for that. So, yeah, we're going to hold off on the harvesting for a moment. Like I said, the rain should be here very shortly. Let's uh, get over to here. Boy, the cows go through a lot of feed. Uh, <laughs> it's just going to get worse and worse as we go on here. Uh, let me start up this and we'll fill up with some milk. I won't take that over yet. Some milk will need to go to the bakery. I'll put some into there, I think. Um, cows probably need water. Looks like their trough is a little bit low. And then... Uh, where is my trailer? Oh, I think the trailer is over at the BGA. So maybe to make my, make my trips count which I t seem to be doing this quite often. I bring one trailer over to the other side by the production buildings, and then I bring one back, and then the trailer I need is... It's always on the opposite side of the river, it seems like. Uh, let's top off with the slurry. Don't think I'll get a full tanker, because I just brought it over yesterday afternoon. But we'll grab what we can. And uh, we'll bring back, like I said, the other trailer, and we'll top off the manure, bring that over. We'll let the BGA make some money this morning for us. And, yep, that's what we got, so that's what we're going to take. Trees are starting to turn into the fall colors. Uh, the sheep actually produced, the sheep are actually starting to produce a, a decent amount of wool every month. So that's a good sight. Uh, is this grass field? Yeah, this grass field is ready to be mowed. Kind of forgot about the grass field being ready. And I think I said I was going to make hay. So uh, we'll be doing that after the rain, of course. Just wait for the chickens to eventually make the eggs. Yeah, I don't think we'll be selling anything today other than electricity. And from here on out for the rest of the year, the season, what we'll do is uh, we'll make sure we got at least 50000 in the bank account at the end of every month. So if I got more than $50,000, we will pay that towards the loan. Okay, we'll drop that off into there. I think I left that on. I believe I did. Let me double check here. Hide inactive. Uh, large BGA. 
Yeah, so let me go ahead and... And next thing I'm going to be bringing over is manure. Let's go ahead and activate manure. It's just a materials missing only. And grab our trailer. And try to get underneath the pin. That'd be great. There we go. And let's go grab that manure. It's 9 o'clock, so... Rain? Did they change the forecast on me? Did they change the forecast? Uh, forecast up here. Okay, now 9 o'clock doesn't say rain. Well, I'm still going to grab the, grab the manure. <laughs> we'll bring over to the BGA so that can be processed. And then maybe, now since it's not going to rain until 10, apparently, I may get back to cotton module harvesting, get that done before the rain actually does arrive. And that'll be one less thing I have to take care of after the rain. Seventy-five thousand liters of manure, so that's a decent amount. And that'll look really good in about an hour's time when we sell the energy made from the BGA. Let's go ahead and drop that into there. And that process should be starting. And then I'm going to grab our low boy and head on over to the cotton field. That way I can pick up the cotton modules that we dispense. So I'm going to leave that trailer there again. I say to myself, get yourself a second truck and this, you know, this would help solve that situation, but I think what would happen is I'll just have the double mounted trailers over here. I'll, I'll just always have trailers on the wrong side. That's the way it's going to be. Uh, nope. Oh, come on. There we go. Oh, you know what I haven't... I didn't check on since... Uh, since August. Let's take a little bit of a trip around to the cotton module or the cotton field. Uh, let's go up and let's see how our stone pines are doing up here on the mountain. Have they grown at all? So I didn't check in September. And of course now we're in October. And in the distance, I really can't see no difference. I'm not really seeing any difference. Oh, this is kind of interesting. I never really noticed this before, but all these trees that we planted here are oak trees, but we can see some oak trees are more full color than other oak trees. Interesting. I thought they would just all, you know, uh, turn over at the same time, but I guess not. No, they, uh, the stone pines have uh, finally... Finally hit a growth stage. So, it's happening. It's finally happening. And I'm trying to remember, I think this low boy can only handle one cotton module at a time. Which I was, I was expecting at least to carry two. Gonna leave that running for now, because I'm gonna have a module here in just a moment. Back on up here. So, I mean, this is the only disadvantage about having the case cotton module harvester over the John Deere is to unload, you have to come to a stop. You can't keep on continuing harvesting. With the John Deere, you can keep on harvesting. But other than that, um, there's that not that much of advantage and the price difference is is huge uh 
We just, I know we're just on the page, but I think this costs just barely under 500,000. And I think the John Deere one's 800 and, 800 and something, right? 847,000 compared to 485. Um, these are 10,000 liter bales and these are 20,000 liter bales in the case. So the case uh, modules are twice as big, but the John Deere, you don't have to stop when harvesting. Is that worth the extra 350,000? I don't think so. So yeah, as long as I get this field done before the before 10 o'clock, which I, I hope I do because if I don't, that just means that I'm gone over the hour for the leasing fee. And also the rain will be here. So I'm gonna keep the pedal on down to the floor and try to get this field done within the next hour. About a half hour later and I am just about done. And if I didn't go with this cotton module harvester, harvesting at double the speed, I would have gone over the hour. So we're at 0.6 hours, harvesting at twice the speed. So yeah, the other harvester, I would be at 1.2 hours, which would have cost us I don't know what the additional hour fee would be on a cotton module harvester, but I'm guessing like seven, eight grand, somewhere around there. But uh, we have two full modules, which doesn't sound like a lot, but when they're 20,000 liters a piece, that's 40,000 liters, plus what I got in the module harvester itself. So it looks like we're going to have somewhere around 57,000 liters, somewhere around there, possibly. The beautiful pink cotton module harvester. And by the way, the reason why I went with pink is because we're in the month of October. And uh, yeah, October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So why not go with pink, right? That's what I usually try to do when I remember. And we're getting done. And plenty of time before the rain. I say plenty of time. It says rain at 10. But when I started, it was showing rain at 9. So I'm not, you know, maybe it'll start raining at 9. Well, it is 9.30. I don't know. Not too sure. Let's go drop off this module over here. At least with the module harvester, it's not like a baler to where you need a full bale to unload. Luckily, we can unload this. I don't know if there is a limit on this thing. I don't know if I just had like 2,000 liters if it was still unload a bale or not. Let's jump out of there. Uh, go into here, leasing, and return. Yes. Okay, thank you. Uh, I do want to go in here. I just want to see quickly um, if I go to lease. Uh... Ooh, $10,000 per working hour. Ooh, okay. Um, yeah, that that definitely saved us some money there. I, I just remembered I left my truck running because originally when I came over here, I thought I was just going to get one bale and end the episode, but uh, I figured, no, let's go ahead and finish up this baling here. And I don't think I can take two of them. I think one of them is all I can take. Which seems kind of weird because it looks like one could fit in the back, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's going to. <laughs> That's what we're going to do. I uh, can't see my super strength button, but, uh, but I got to do it quickly. And of course, it would roll off. There we go. Strap them on in. I think they're strapped in, not too sure. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna swing by the sheet pen and we're gonna grab the pallets of wool and bring that with us so we can start making some fabric and of course start making some clothing. I'm 
And I will get the other cotton module harvester into the spinnery before the rain comes. At least I hope I will. The sugar beet harvesting in the afternoon and the soybean harvest won't take us too long. And really, I could wait another month if I wanted to. I think I can harvest both in uh, sorry, November. Should be able to put these pallets on the front of this little boy. So just a little over 3,000 liters. Uh, wait a minute, if I change that to that and then do that, it'll take that pallet there, which it does. Perfect. All right, let's go over to the spinnery, pay them a visit, drop this stuff off, and then we'll end the episode. Need to come in between the restaurant and the livestock market. And then we'll just swing on into here. And, okay, so you're going to take the wool, but not the cotton. Oh, wait. Oh, there they go. This takes a second. Uh, that's the way it goes. Uh, that should already be activated. And I, did I just hear the rain? thought I heard rain falling. Uh, this is called this is spinnery, right? I think it's just called the spinnery. Uh, let's see here. Sawmill, straw sugar, dairy. Okay, so it's not called a spinnery. What is this uh, production building called here? Uh, it's called custom production spinnery. All right, so we are making clothing. And, of course, we're using the batch fabric mix materials, which takes cotton and wool to make fabric. And we get double the production. And, yeah, just in time. The rain is here. So I'm going to go grab the other module and get this into the spinnery before it gets too wet. So perfect timing. Just finished the harvest just in time. Maybe that's why they pushed back the forecast to rain. Because originally it said 9 o'clock, but they said, you know what? It's not going to start raining until 9.37, which is closer to 10. So that's why they pushed back that forecast. All in all, it's all good. We got the harvest done. Uh, we bought some chickens today. Um, so that will definitely uh, help us out with the eggs. We sold some products, paid off a couple hundred thousand dollars on the loan. And we got the cotton harvested uh, harvest done. So that just leaves the soybeans and sugar beet. Like I said, we should be able to take care of that relatively quickly. Uh, we do have the grass field, but I may wait a month to do that. I may do it in November. That way, both grass fields are in sequence with each other, which would be kind of nice to have. But then again, it just means a lot of grass work when it comes time to doing so. But anyways, that's going to do for today, guys. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy the episode. I do appreciate you watching. As always, I'll catch you again right here in Hinterland. But until then, have a good one.